Children and women among those killed in the latest violence. Activists say they came from the same extended family killed by armed men who stormed the village of Mazarat al-Kabir. They are pro-government militias. They are very heavy armed. Uh, usually uh, uh, the Syrian uh, army prevent the way for them by shelling the area where, where they get into. And after shelling, they just uh, uh, enter in a sudden way with huge numbers. Uh, most of the victims were uh, burned in their houses. Uh, many of them were slaughtered by knives in a very ugly way. The Syrian government has denied the killings, calling them a monstrous crime. It says its forces were tackling what it describes as militants in the area. It says they were answering calls for help from people in the village. The UN has about 300 peacekeepers in the country. There are no reports of them having been in the area. Karen Dwyer, the acting chief of the UN's peacekeeping operations, has said they're deeply concerned about developments. They're waiting for updates from monitors on the ground and they'll deploy observer teams to investigate in the morning. Unfortunately, they do nothing to protect us. They just come the next day after the massacre to film the corpses and to say, how do we bury our, our victims? Uh, actually, we ask those monitors uh, to keep their prestige and to get out of Syria soon, because now, uh, if, uh, now Syrian people will accept them no more. Less than two weeks ago, around 100 people were killed by security forces and pro-Assad militiamen in the town of Huala. That attack caused international outrage. Opposition group, the Syrian National Council, has responded to Wednesday's killings by calling for the Free Syrian Army to step up its assaults on the military. It's a rare call for direct military action from the group and raises concerns the country is fast slipping towards civil war. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.